Hey guys, this is Christian and I am coming at you from Norway right now. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about a topic that's been on my heart for quite a while now and it has to do with relationship closure. And what I mean by that, or what most people mean when they talk about closure is like you've been in a relationship with someone and maybe it ended abruptly, maybe there were unanswered questions and things that didn't make sense to you, so you go and meet with a person maybe over coffee and you have a heart to heart in order to try and figure out what went wrong so that you can tie up the loose ends so to speak in order to be able to move on uh, and I personally don't believe that closure works I don't think it exists even and not in the way that most people mean when they say that and one reason is, first of all, when you go and meet with someone and you have a heart-to-heart -heart with them, you are sharing intimacy with that person. And this is someone that you've been in a relationship with. So the only thing that happens is you're just going to grow closer to each other. You're not going to get closure. Uh, I did this like years ago with this girl and because I wanted to get closure. And <laughs> I went and we had a you know, deep heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And I shared things on my heart. And the only thing that happened was I just fell more in love with her. So it completely backfired. And th which brings me uh, to another point, uh, which is that when it comes to relationships, you don't really close the door and open the door. It's just not the way things work. I mean, a lot of times you'll hear people say like, when things end, like you need to make sure that you close the door and leave it shut and like do not open it under any circumstances whatsoever and to me I think that sounds like control which comes from fear like you're trying to control uh, what's gonna happen an outcome in order to be okay like you're trying to figure out what's gonna happen like okay nothing will ever happen with this relationship and I need to have that assurance in order to be able to move on and th this is really what I think this whole thing is about like just the, the that whole thing of we're trying to control our lives and we're really bad at living in mystery like the not knowing the unknown that's really scary for us so we try and like control things which we can't do so you might as well not do that because uh, the thing is, even if you close the door, whatever that means, the only thing that's going to happen, I mean, you could do that and not be in contact with the person, but you might bump into each other four or five years later and, you know, stranger things have happened. People have gotten married like that, like they date their high school sweetheart and then maybe they break up and then end up meeting later on and get married. So maybe that's not common, but it does happen so I just think we need to be able to be okay with just letting go because like closing the door and making sure that it's shut is it doesn't sound like letting go to me it sounds like control like I said like trying to uh, make sure that things end up happening a certain way in order to be okay and you you don't need that to be okay you just the thing is you can't always you can't tie up all the loose ends in a relationship like people make choices that we don't agree with we don't understand maybe they don't even understand it half of the time you know like stuff like that happens so when what I mean by that closing the door uh, doesn't exist is that the only thing that you can do in a relationship is you either spend time with someone which will make the relationship grow or you don't spend time with someone in which the relationship doesn't grow but you obviously can if you've been in a relationship with someone then that's going to be part of your history so you can't like delete that um, now obviously there are times when you might need to talk to the person like if you have maybe you hurt them and you need to ask that person for forgiveness if, it, if it's appropriate, it's not, I mean, that depends on the situation, and in that case, yeah, that is good to have a talk, but um, it's really just important to be aware that if there's history there, then if you go, like, really deep, then there's going to be, you know, uh, a 
you're going to share intimacy and you're just going to grow closer to the person if you're not careful. So, yeah, the only thing you do is uh, if you want to grow in a relationship, you spend time with them. If you don't want to, then you don't spend time with them. But who knows what the future is going to hold. So don't don't even like put any effort into trying to close any doors because it's just not the way things work in my opinion with the relationships so I look forward to hearing your comments about this and just kind of what you guys think of it and some of your experiences uh, so I will see you guys next time